Okay, so for a change in a system that takes place at constant pressure, which statement is true? This is a sort of the notation. Um, how do you understand the notation? And so uh, when we say heat under constant pressure, and that's a subscript of P, and in this case, that's an enthalpy change. And in the similar one, there's a, when the heat is under constant volume, and we call that an uh, internal energy chain. And this is what we call the bomb uh, calorimeter or bomb system that doesn't have, that has a fixed amount of the volume. Whereas something that like a piston, uh, we has a can movable wall, and under constant pressure, and this is the case. So in this case, the answer for this is an E. Okay, so this is a question about using the concept about what is called the bond energy. So let me give a little bit uh, overview on bond energy. Bond energy is, uh, it is an energy needed. You need an energy to, you know, to give an energy. Uh, to break the bond, right? So you need needed to break the bond. But at the same time, the opposite case, which is an energy released, right? So the opposite direction, which is a bond formation, in that case is the same amount of energy with the opposite sign uh, will be released. So bond release, energy release upon the bond formation. Okay, so this the notation, the particularly the if you pay attention to the sign, uh, one is uh, you know is uh, energy needed to break the bond or energy released on the bond formation. So now looking at this chemical structures, we need to kind of give uh, write it out the detailed molecular structure. C two H four means carbon carbon with four hydrogen. And there's, there's something not right, which is a, a therefore, I think there should be a double bond should, should be there. So this is a, the, what we call the uh, ethene or ethylene. And then hydrogen has a HH bond. And uh, you know, think about imagine breaking all the bonds there and then reforming into this CC with six CH bond. So this is an ethane from ethene uh, and then hydrogenation reaction. So then, uh, how do I uh, how do I do? And so the delta H reaction now. I just write it is okay. You have a four CH bond, right? And then you have CC double bond, and you have a HH bond. This is a bond you need to break it. So I'll keep it as it is, which is a positive number, right? And then uh, upon formation of this you need to form 6CH bond and 1CC bond. But this is a bond, uh, actually bond being formed. So energy is being released. So the energy from bond energy should be a negative sign to, to, to make a note that this is an opposite case, which is a bond formation. And to make my uh, calculation a little bit faster, I will, I will even take care of the bond energy. Four bond energy can be gone, and there can be two bond energies. So I'll keep the, everything the same. So it is a CC double bond bond energy, H, 
H bond energy minus 2 CH bond energy plus CC bond energy. So now I'm play, plugging those numbers, which is a uh, 611 436 minus 2 times 414 plus 347 and then I will get minus 128 kilojoule for that reaction so therefore the answer is B Okay, so this is a problem of asking, can you find out what will be the delta H reaction for the following? And what was given is heat of formation. Right? Heat of formation for reactant and the products are all given up on here. Right? And so now I need to first uh, to, to make sure that the numbers of this reaction is balanced. I have a uh, six ion, six ion, that's good. Carbon, one carbon, one carbon is good. This is a nine, nine oxygen, and plus one oxygen, so that will be a ten oxygen. And this is an eight oxygens plus two oxygen, so okay, so the ten oxygen. So oxygen is good. So I think that everything works out. So. Uh, so I don't have to worry about this is already balanced so I don't have to worry about whether this actually given the reaction is correct one so I would just say this is a balanced reaction and the delta H reaction uh, if you remember the Hess law and this is essentially if you have anything that constant with uh, for that reaction and the delta H formation uh, for that particular compound, uh, if it is a product, and product is the delta H of formation multiplied by this number, the the reaction constant goes in front. You just add them together, and you have to subtract it by the same kind of constant multiplied by heat of formation. In this case, this is a reactant. Okay, so now let me show you how it works out. So, which is a product? These are the products. Right? And this is essentially the two is essentially Ni, Ni, and so on. So, the product wise, I need a two times F. E of Fe3O4, which is this one, which is um, minus 1118 plus this is now 1. In this case, this is 1, so 1 times there's a CO2, which is a product, so this is a CO2 product, which is a minus 394. So I'm done with this part. And then let's say I need to work on this part, which is now minus, right? And minus the whole thing. And then the, I have a 3, so that's a 3 times Fe203, Fe203, there you are. So minus 824 plus. This is essentially a 1, so the 1 times CO, which is the reactant, is a minus 1, 1, 1. Okay, so now you put then all these numbers together in the calculator, and you will get number minus 47 kilojoule. And so this answer for this is a C.